to the microphone. All right, cool. Uh, so two months ago, the federal government issued me a subpoena. As a, uh, here at this, uh, to appear before this uh, courthouse, before the grand jury. As a general principle, I object to the whole institution of grand juries. Um, prosecutors run grand juries behind closed doors in secret. Based on my refusal to answer questions two months ago, uh, the grand jury, uh, com you know, com you know, uh, compelled me to, or in order to try to compel me to testify, uh, they sent me into confinement. So I got released last week, and here I am today with the same subpoena, or a, a different subpoena with the same questions. So the government has already stipulated that they're going to ask the same questions. Jails and prisons exist as a dark institution, and uh, despite that, it doesn't frighten me or disturb me. I mean, I've already been, I've already been to jail, I've already been to prison, so try, attempting to coerce me with a grand jury subpoena is just not going to work. And so there, we both agreed to waive. I will not cooperate with this or any other grand jury. So it doesn't matter what the what it is or what the, the case is, I'm just not going to comply or cooperate. Facing jail again, potentially today, doesn't change my stance. The prosecutors are deliberately placing me in an impossible position. Go to jail and face the, uh, and face the prospect of being held in contempt again, or in the alternative, for, you know, foregoing my principles, the, the, the strong positions that I have, that I hold dear. And the latter is a far worse prison or jail than the government could ever produce. The truth is that no matter what happens today, whether I get into, whether I get it, whether I, I'm placed in confinement or not, I'm not gonna com comply with this grand jury. Ultimately, this is an attempt to place me back in confinement. I think that the questions are the same questions that I was asked before the court martial in my, you know, in seven, eight years ago. Like, it, there, there's nothing new. There's not, they're not asking anything new. They're at, they're, there's no new information that they're trying to get from me. In fact, the, the questions are very much the, the same things that I've gone over uh, in that uh, exhaustive several hours long, and it's about this thick testimony. Uh, so I think that ultimately the, the goal here is to really, you know, relitigate the court martial from my perspective. How long are you prepared to do this for? Keep going before grand juries are not going to answer the questions? Forever. Indefinitely. All right. Thank you, everybody.